One of the things that's been the most fun for Darren and me over the last few years is we've gotten to know some of the top corn farmers from around the United States, guys that have been setting records with their yields and just learning a little bit from them, some of the things that they're doing, some of the tips that they've got for raising higher corn yields. Well, the number one thing, Brian, is getting a great stand established. And if yep. you can't get a great stand established, it's going to be tough to reach those high yields. Yeah, I think just about every one of those corn farmers has said that to us. Take a look at your stand. Every plant's got to have an equal opportunity and every plant needs to emerge right away. And to do that, you not only if you're doing tillage have to do a great job of tillage, you can't have unevenness out there in the field. You've got to wait till the soil warms up, Brandon. That's a challenge in the north. Well, yeah, that's that's one of the things. So if you look at a lot of the world record corn producers, they farm way further south than what we do. And they want warm soil temps, and I get that. It's just unfortunately in our environment, we can't wait for soil temps to warm up to 55 or 60 degrees. We've got to plant when the soil temps 45 or 50 if we want top yields. So what we do to counteract that is use things like the biologicals, quick roots, use better fungicides here, use more insecticide, uh, both on the seed and in furrow. And then also you can use fungicide in furrow. Well, I don't care where you're at, the seed treatment usage is one of the key things that we see the top producers across the country and all crops doing is protecting that seed. We have to make sure we've got a healthy, viable seed and seedling if we want to succeed. All right, one of the things that's really stood out to me, because we've had some of these top corn farmers on our farm with plots the last couple years, and we intend to this next year as well. If you want to attend our Ag PhD Field Day, you can talk to a lot of these great farmers and see their plots in our operation. But what they've said to us is, hey, we really got to focus on micronutrients, both with soil tests and plant tissue analysis. It goes on the whole season. It's not just, all right, we got to worry about it for a few weeks. It's, we're going to worry about it even well after tassel, and we may still make an application if we're running into some problems out there. If our plant starts to show, hey, I'm not getting enough copper intake, or I'm not getting enough boron intake, we need to get out there and address that. And most of the time when we talk to farmers across the country, they'll say, oh, you got to be crazy. There's no way you're going to get a return on investment at that point. But if you can truly identify, hey, this is my yield limiting factor right now, and you address it, you are going to improve your yields. All right, what do you think, Darren, about fungicide use? Kind of any common themes that have stood out to you when you've been talking to early these high and often, guys? Early and often, and a lot of the guys will say, hey, it's really critical that we do that early, but many farmers across the country will stop at a V4 to V7 application. We see some of the highest yielding guys going with an application in the V8 to V11 range and going again at tassel. And even after tassel, we're seeing some big gains uh, from farmers across the country. I know in Illinois this year, I was in some plots in September. It was a better than 30 bushel gain putting on an application two or three weeks after tasseling time. All right, so a lot of people talk to us about, oh, these high yield guys can't be making money. And I go, really? They're raising 350, 400, 500 bushel corn. They're making money. Yes, they have more inputs. And yes, not everything they do works every single time, but they're really focused on the little details. And I think that's probably the number one thing I would say. They're just paying attention to their fields, walking their fields, looking at data every single day during the growing season. They're just putting the time in. Yeah, they're, they're willing to work hard and stay after it. And I think that's the thing that we see in soybeans a lot as guys give up too early, but in corn, I didn't realize how we were giving up too early. We're, we're saying, man, we got to brown silk. Now we just let it coast and see what happens. No, there's nutrient applications that need to be made. There's other things that you have to watch out for in terms of diseases and other things that could impact your yield too. So stay after it. Don't give up and pay attention to the details all the way through. Well, we've been fortunate to be able to meet with many of these great high yield corn farmers around the country. And one of the things they talk about too is having great weed control if you want great yields. We'll tell you how to stop our Weed of the Week coming up next. <music>